a Fox News host recently admitted the reason that a lot of Republicans don't seem to care about climate change. Where we live right now, this place, Earth, is it. So everything's on the, on, on the, on the line here for them. Um, they think, as you said, they can perfect this mm -hmm. Earth. Those of us who have faith don't believe that, and we believe how we act here determines where we go after. And so we had to behave. And so even in politics, we don't, you know, we, we, we act within those moral limits. Mm. The environment? No, no, who cares? Who cares about the environment uh, when we're going to heaven anyway? Uh, that's essentially the crux of what she's saying. Like, why should we care? Um, I mean, look, uh, uh, look, as an atheist, I don't believe in the afterlife. Uh, but even if I'm wrong, why wouldn't you care about the environment? Why would you, I mean, look at it this way, right? If a God exists, whichever one doesn't matter. And that God spent time and effort to obviously create a world, this world, uh, for people to live in and then created people. Would that God, would you think that God would be thrilled if we went and trashed it and made it uninhabitable for the next generation of not only human beings, but also natural creatures? D do you think that that would be, uh, acceptable? No, uh, that's not logical <laughs> at all. That would be stupid, especially when one of the, uh, let's go to the Christian God, for example. Uh, one of the instructions of the Christian God is to be fruitful and multiply. Can't exactly do that when you've uh, destroyed your environment and collapsed your food chain. In fact, that would cause the opposite. That would cause a lot of people, human beings, and animals to die. Just saying. Um, but look, uh, this really does get into how the right wing has co-opted religion in Ashley is using it to justify sin. Whoa, what, what am I talking about? As an atheist, me talking about sin? Well, I would be an expert since I'm living in it, right? <laughs> well, douche, right? Uh, okay, but no, specifically, greed. Greed is a sin, is it not? Now, what reason do you think that all these uh, CEOs of fossil fuel companies, like, for example, ExxonMobil, are doing when they do their own science on climate change and then hide the reports when those reports specifically point out that their business model is causing rapid global climate change, specifically warming. Again, this is their own studies that came to the conclusion that their own product and business model is doing massive harm to the world in which we live. Here's one of their projections from the 70s. Take a look. Versus the reality, by the way, of observed climate change. Huh. I, I mean, that's, that seems pretty accurate there. Uh, I mean, this is, again, this is ExxonMobil's own projected temperature changes versus the actual observed temperature change, and it's just about the same. Meaning these uh, ExxonMobil scientists... They accurately predicted temperatures as a result of their own research into climate change and the effect that their product is having on the, on the, on the climate. So, I mean, seriously. For a long time, though, Exxon and these other fossil fuel companies had this data. They sat on it. They knew it. And they thought, well, uh, I mean, oh, if we, if we, if we uh, are, are honest about this and uh, sound the alarm, then uh, well, that's gonna that's gonna hurt our, uh, you know, business. We're, we're gonna lose money. Uh, we're gonna have to, you know, look into alternatives and and, uh, and all that stuff. Mike pounds. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and we're gonna have to look into alternatives. Well, that means I lose money. Can't let that happen. Nope, we're going to bury it. Uh, they're going to go and, uh, and, and, and they went and they paid think tanks to come out and muddy the waters on the discussion. This discourse about climate change. That's where you see all this climate denial. 
And you had a whole generation that came out and thought that, oh, it's not real. It's a hoax. Humans can't affect the climate whatsoever. Blah, 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 blah. All, all this nonsense, right? Now, recently, it's changed, though, from, oh, it's a hoax, to, okay, yes, there's climate change happened, but it's always changed. It's natural. And then it's also changed more recently from, uh, you know, it, it, sure, it's it's happening, but it's not really man-made. It's more natural to, okay, yes, it, it is happening. It's not really natural, the, the rate here, but who cares because it's, you know, it's, we'll all be dead and, and we're going to be, uh, we're going to go to heaven and, and, you know, uh, Jesus is going to suck us up and do his uh, holy vacuum cleaner in the rapture. So it doesn't, it's not, not really going to matter, is it? No, of course not. So burn, baby, burn. Now, that same argument, by the way, um, of like, oh, you know, it, look, uh, we shouldn't really have to care about it because, you know, uh, you know, religion, we're, we're more worried about the afterlife than we are here about our, our current life so we can go ahead and trash the planet. That same person who made the argument is also going to say something even dumber and somewhat contradictory. I mean, we're sure. made for religion. So if you don't have if you don't have a faith, whether it's Hindu, Islam, Christianity, you're going to create one. And it could yes. be climate or it could be yourself, as you mentioned. And our system. Huh. It's a uh, climate change. Huh? Now uh, it's a religion. Is it, It's a religion. No, it. How is it a religion? No. There's nobody that's sitting there praying at the altar of Al Gore. <laughs> okay, how do you compare the scientific consensus to a religion? Uh, again, you, you you really can't. Science is based on testing and observation. You collect data, you collect evidence, and you prove your case. In fact, the whole scientific method is really set to shut down theories, to try to disprove them. And when they run out of ways to disprove them, that's when it becomes accepted scientific theory. <laughs> Religion is basically whatever the pastor decides to tell you. And that's it. Uh, it's faith. It's faith. And you know what? Honestly, there's nothing wrong with faith, with having faith. Um, but you shouldn't be making planetary, life-altering decisions based on faith without any sort of evidence. It's ridiculous. Nobody who's familiar with the science of climate change prays to what? What would they, who would they even pray to? And by the way, there, there are uh, scientists who are Christians as well. And uh, not just Christians, but Muslims, Jewish people, uh, etc. Uh, there are people who are in the sciences that also are religious and they're able to separate their science and religiosity, their science and their faith. Uh, and actually, there's no direct conflict with it. If you look at it as, oh, you know, whatever creator I happen to believe in, set up these natural rules and science is the observation of those natural rules in place. And so it, it, again, the whole thing, the whole comparison makes literally no sense at all. Uh, but see, that's why, that's why if you take that argument at face value, you're going to drive yourself insane. Okay. Um, that's why you can't do it. You, you can't take the, this, uh, their arguments at face value. You have to look at the reasoning behind them making this argument. And when you do that, you realize that a lot of these people are sometimes knowingly or many times knowingly, sometimes unknowingly using religion to justify the destruction of uh, climate because of the greed, because of the, the sin that goes along with it. Uh, the, seed of a, uh, the, the sin, of course, of, of greed, right? Co-opting religion to do probably one of the most immoral things imaginable that will not only harm, but lead to the deaths of millions of people in the future from the effects of climate change, uh, the effects of that greed, pollution, uh, you know, uh, sea level rise, mass you know, migrations. That's what they're doing. And it's, and it's incredibly immoral. It's the worst. And, the, and it's only the worst kind of people that continue to perpetuate that. 